Welcome to Wisdom of the World. Today I'm going to tell a story from Myanmar and it's about wanting to be free and it's called The Long Path to Wisdom. And it goes like this. Once upon a time there were an old father and mother and they had only one son. They were well off and they lived in a big villa and they had basically everything. They were very protective of their only son, so much that they wouldn't even let him play with any other kids. Everything was always brought to him. And they thought he had a really good carefree life, but they didn't notice how lonely he really was. So um, one day this loneliness just sort of burst out and the boy snuck out of the house and went to explore the road outside, life outside of his house. And there he saw people um, always going into one direction and he asked, what, what is that? And they say, oh, there is some teachings from a monk going on and we like to hear him. So the boy was curious and followed them and he listened. And he listened, he ate every word what that monk said. It was a beautiful teaching. And after that, the way the monk had spoken about freedom and enlightenment, he knew that all he wanted to do was follow that path. Now, he was not an adult yet. He still was a child, so he needed his parents' permission. So he ran home and asked for his parents' permission to become a monk. But they said, no, they shook their heads. No, they, 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 they wanted their son to be married and to carry on the family and, and to, to, to have him be there when they got old. And then the boy was very disappointed. So disappointed, he totally withdrew. He didn't eat, he didn't drink, he didn't see anything, he just laid in bed. After six days, when his parents saw him, who was already not fat, you know, getting skinnier and skinnier, the father said to the mother, we were afraid to lose our son to the monastery, but this way we're also going to lose him. And so the mother agreed they had to do something. So they told the boy it was okay, he could go. And the boy, forgetting about his exhaustion and tiredness, ran all the way to the monastery and became a novice, a monk. And he stayed there, he studied hard, meditated hard, did everything that he was asked to do. And yet sort of the hustle of, and the bustle of the monastery maybe he thought distracted his mind. So he spoke to a senior monk, his teacher, and he said, well, maybe you should go into the forest where you'll have more, less distraction and maybe that's better for you. You have more time to really practice and work on yourself. So the boy did. And he stayed there for 12 years in the forest. And still, he didn't really, yes, he learned a lot. But still, he felt, he felt basically restless. So he could not advance and he could not achieve his goal of a pure, quiet uh, a mind. And so he sort of gave up and he wondered what happens to his parents. And so he went home and he saw on the way a monk who said, yes, he had heard that they were just um, on the road now, their son had left and then servants had stolen from them and they had borrowed money to people they had never gotten back and basically they were on the streets now. So the boy went to look for them and he found them sitting close by where his house used to be, which was now just a field full of mess and rubbish. But he saw them and they were begging. They were holding their heads, you know, uh, uh, down below, you know, and, and begging. 
And at first they didn't see the monk, and the monk, the boy, was so embarrassed. He felt so bad. He couldn't speak, and he cried. And then one of his tears fell on the neck of the mother who, who looked up, and she immediately recognized her son. And now all three of them then, you know, recognized each other, and, and the boy was so apologetic for, for leaving his parents, he just could not apologize enough, but his parents wouldn't hear of it. They just were happy to see him. And they were discussing together what they should do next. So finally, in the end, the boy found a place next to the monastery where his parents could stay, and he, he brought them food, and he brought them um, um, something some clothing also he felt a little difficult because as a monk he was not supposed to do that so he meditated on it and you know in his meditation the answer came and said yes it is right what you are doing of course you have to take care of your parents but also the other monks started to become a little suspicious because they saw this monk with his you know daily alms his food that he begged and then disappear and even the clothes and but then finally, the abbot, the head of the monastery, intervened and said, of course, this monk is right. Our first duty is to practice what we have been taught, and that is to take care of parents and anybody else who is in need. We cannot just stay and sit and meditate. We have to uh, do it also in practice. So the boy was relieved, and he took care of his parents till the end of their days. And after they had passed on, he went back to the forest. But this time, his heart was pure and clean. And he achieved the ultimate freedom. Some people call it enlightenment. Thank you.